A convicted felon who filed suit just yesterday because he was beaten and kicked by two APD officers in a violent arrest several years ago was arrested again today. This time he is facing federal charges. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart. This video showing Nicholas Bloom getting kicked in the face is the basis for his 2011 lawsuit against those former officers. Today, after he, his arrest by APD and federal agents, here's what he told our camera. Mr. Bloom, is there anything you'd like to say? Another police br brutality. Nicholas Bloom was arrested today on federal charges of being a felon in possession of a firearm. The day after, he announced he's suing two former APD officers for what he says is excessive force in this 2011 arrest. When surveillance video captured the officers kicking and punching the suspected car thief while he was down. Those two officers, Robert Wooliver and John Doyle, were fired. After today's arrest, Bloom's attorney tells us. I have no idea what the circumstances of this arrest were. I do not know how the police treated him at all. According to a criminal complaint, Bloom's girlfriend told police Monday Bloom punched her in the face, breaking her nose after she confronted him about having guns in her apartment. When police searched the apartment, Bloom was gone, but there was a semi-automatic rifle loaded with 72 rounds in the closet. The woman told police the rifle belonged to Bloom. Today, police say a tip led them to this intersection in northeast Albuquerque, where they found Bloom with a gun and arrested him. Bloom's attorney says it's too early to tell how today's arrest may affect his lawsuit. He won't be as available to work on the case with me, but I'll just have to go see him in jail. Bloom's attorney said he hadn't yet spoken to him today. Bloom has a lengthy criminal history, including aggravated battery. Police say he had a gun in a stolen truck during that 2011 arrest, but those charges in that case were dropped. Back to you. Okay, Gabby, the officers fired for the 2011 arrest are appealing to try to get their jobs back.